If you use WhatsApp to manage your business, then this is definitely a product that you should check out. What's form? What's form enables you to create simple forms with no code, just drag and drop, create the form. And once the customer fills in the data and clicks on submit on WhatsApp, it takes them to the WhatsApp app and you get the data from the customer's WhatsApp number. Before we get into it, let's see what the current scenario is. You get a customer who says hi, and then you start messaging them, ask, what do you need? How are you? The second customer comes in again. How are you? What do you need? Third customer comes in and again, the same repetitive questions. What do you need? How can I help? And as time goes on, you start realizing this is actually not working out. You're spending a lot of time and money. You're getting agitated. You're not getting a lot of output. So what if you just created a form to put in all the repetitive questions right there so that you can just chill out and enjoy? That's what we're going to see with this product. For the first step, you got to log in with your Google account. So, what form can create the form in two ways? One, they have a native builder. Two, you can convert your Google form, your existing Google forms. So to do that, you need to give them permission to access your Google Drive and also your Google form. So let's tick those two boxes and click on continue. We are inside the app. Let's click on new form and start creating a what's form. Provide the WhatsApp number in which you want to have all your conversations. You can set the language that you want to and click on next. We'll start from scratch and click on create. This is their native form builder. On the right, you can see the default uh, pretty standard questions, header, text input, multiple choice. You can just drag and drop them into the form builder and you can just click and edit contact us you can click on the text question and ask for their name what's your name they even have options to set the placeholder text you can type in john doe so that you give them an idea of what type of input is required give them instructions please give your full name and for the multiple choice let's keep it as you know, how are you doing uh, today and uh, for the options awesome being better, doing okay, uh, not very good. Please keep in mind that you can add images to options using these image buttons. You can make a question as required if you want to. So everything looks good. Let's just give it a preview using the preview button. Okay, all my questions are there. The name, how are you doing? I can see the submit on WhatsApp button. Let's go back. I've unpublished changes, so let's publish it. My word form is published. And I'm going to click on share and just quickly open the what's form URL. So the URL it looks something like what's form.com slash a six digit ID. So it looks pretty neat. Same thing that we saw in preview. So if they have the option to use uh, the form in, in the QR code form, you can download it or you can share the link directly in other social media. Now let's go back and this time let's create the form from a template. Again, same process. You provide the WhatsApp number and then you set the language. Click on to next. And they have a couple of templates under use template. If you click on the I icon, you can actually see the template. So this is the contact template, pretty standard normal general contact form. They have a food order form. Here you can see this is a pizza ordering, kind of like a Domino's setup. Yeah, looks pretty neat. It asks all the questions. Here we're going to start with the travel booking template and click on create. And there you have it. I've just created a complete travel booking form. It has, it seems to have all the questions that I wanted. I, I can make further edits if I want to, but I'm not going to. Everything looks pretty neat uh, for me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy the URL and then I'm going to go to my mobile and actually test it out. I'm going to test, uh, I'm going to have two mobile devices. On one device, I'm going to act as you, you know, as the business owner. 
on another device, I'm going to be the customer who fills in the what's form. So the first mobile device, this is you. This is your WhatsApp. First thing I want to show, when I created the form, what's form actually sent me the link to it. So the first thing that you see, that's what's form. They send me the links to the what's form that I just created. If I open it up, right, yeah. Uh, that's the first form I created and that's the second one. Now on my second device, I'm going to open that second template that I just made, the travel booking one. So I'm, I'm assuming I'm a, I'm a customer and I'm going to give in my details. Uh, let's say I'm Andrew. I'm going to provide an email, andrew at the gmail.com. And as for the location, I'm going to set it as New York, USA. Five adults are traveling no children yet and the destination will be miami beach when am i planning to travel i plan to travel on 10th of let's say november and i plan to travel for a whole week now the user clicks on submit on whatsapp the browser takes them to the whatsapp app the customer can send the data and immediately you get the information in a normal whatsapp communication and that's the beauty of it all the information, family vacation, Andrew, andrew.gmail.com, the travel date, everything is right there in your WhatsApp app. Normally, you would have asked each of these questions one by one in your WhatsApp app. But with what's form, all those repetitive questions are stacked up and you get them all in one go. Uh, you can continue the conversation with Andrew, tell them you'll look into the inquiry very soon and get back. So this is the power of what's form. You're saving a ton of time so that you can just sit back, relax and get all the data in your WhatsApp. Now one more feature of what's form is you can convert a Google form. Again, we'll create a what's form, provide a WhatsApp number, click on next. We'll choose Google form. I have a couple of forms that I've already created. I'll choose buy t-shirt. Click on create, ta-da, in just one second it has converted my Google form to a what's form. This is the, this is actually the t-shirt template from Google forms. So it's, it's all done. So what's form is pretty powerful. You can edit the Google form and if you edit the Google form it will automatically be reflected in the what's form. As for the other two, those are native what's forms which you can just edit directly. It shows you the number of responses that has been captured, a small G icon to indicate that it came from a Google form. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's a very powerful no-code tool. Check it out. And if you want other products to be features, please just let us know.